what what better else than incorporate beer and chicken? I've got I got myself. It's called drunken chicken. Okay. <laughs> Nice to see everybody. Pitmaster, Sonny's Pitmaster, Shannon Snell back with another uh, Pitmaster video. I got a whole chicken right here, okay? Go to Publix, Winn-Dixie, any one of your grocery stores, you can get a nice whole chicken. Make sure you cut it open, wash it off, clean it out, clean out the insides of it because you're gonna do some really cool stuff to it. Also what I got here is I got some Sonny's poultry rub. You can use any rub, anything that, that flavors your palate, but you wanna make sure that you at least have a full cup of, a full cup of rub here. I got a Budweiser, okay? Now here's the thing about choosing the beer uh, beer for your drunken chicken, all right? Choose something a little bit stronger, okay? So a lager, a darker beer. Try not to, try to stay away from stuff like the lighter beers and stuff that won't give it a lot of flavor because even if you don't like beer, um, the way you do this chicken, it's just, it really is gonna give you the, the hops flavor out of it. It's gonna give it, give it a really nice, um, a really nice taste. I got myself some Cajun seasoning mix with some of the beer that I poured out. You're gonna to wanna to pour at least uh, a quarter of the can of the beer inside and mix it with some Cajun seasoning, okay? Because one of the things that I'm gonna show you is we're gonna inject it, all right? So when I'm injecting stuff, I really wanna focus around the breast. The breast is the most important part because the breast dries out pretty quickly. Um, so focusing on the breast part of this chicken is gonna really help you out because once, you, once you're putting it on the smoker, as we're gonna do here in just a few minutes, um, it's gonna, it's gonna make sure that it stays nice and juicy and you'll feel it in your hands and it, and it blows up. And it's okay if it shoots back out at you, but you just wanna make sure that you get the same flavor on the outside, uh, in, on the inside as you're gonna get on the outside. Take your rub, and I got some, uh, some, I got some uh, poultry rub from Sunny's Barbecue. Go to our previous Facebook, uh, uh, Facebook videos and look up how to make your own rub. It doesn't necessarily need to be what I have here, but do something that's high in, that's high in salt and, and a little bit, it got a little bit of sugar in it because it's gonna crust up really nice and give your um, give your chicken a really, really, really nice uh, crust on the top of it. Season the whole thing, season inside the cavity. This is super important because you're gonna be sticking something in here as I'm gonna show you in a second that's gonna kinda pack everything in there, but make sure you season this entire chicken all the way through. Looks good. All right, nice. It's all seasoned up. I got my beer here. Now I had this one pre-mixed here, so I did pour some in it. So just make sure you pour a little bit out because um, you don't want the can to be overstuffed um, and you don't want it kind of spilling out on the inside of the chicken and making the rub uh, wash out of there. That's not the thing that you want to do. So here's the cool part of what you're going to do. Inside this can, I'm just going to go ahead and stuff it inside the chicken because the moisture inside the beer is going to make it it's gonna make the it's gonna make everything juicy. It's gonna give it a really nice flavor on the, from the inside out. And guys, do what you want. As we talked about it, you can put some onions in here. Uh, you can chop up some green pepper, some jalapeno. All that inside of here, as this can heats up and that flavor comes out, that moisture comes out, is gonna be injected into your bird. So it's about flavor with this. But I got enough flavor because I injected. So I'm just gonna go ahead and stuff my bird right now. You just take the can and inside the biggest opening, inside the bottom of the bird, you just stuff it right in the middle. Perfect. Okay, it's gonna stand up on its own, which is the coolest thing, right? It's gonna stand up on its own and we're gonna go ahead and put it inside of our smoker. Now you want your smoker, your smoker at 350 degrees, okay? When you're cooking this, 350 is where you wanna be because this is gonna take anywhere from 75 to 90 minutes to, to cook. Now you want the internal temperature of the chicken to be at roughly 165 degrees, not below that, okay? And at this point, feel free to get some of the areas you might, might have missed. That's what I'm gonna do. That looks good. As you can see, guys, this, this chicken looks absolutely beautiful. If you see the crust that's on top of it, man, that, that rub, that seasoning, uh, really adhered to that product well. And you know, as, I, as I, I saw all the juices leaking down off of it, so I'm really excited to try this chicken. Also, 
Um, when we pulled the beer can out, there was some leftover beer in there. It, it hydrated the chicken and everything. But feel free to do something really cool, like make a gravy out of it, all right? Make a gravy out of it because that'll taste even better. A beer gravy, yeah, yeah, trust me, that, that, that'll set the mood off really, really good. But you know me, I gotta taste this chicken, and I wanna taste the breast because obviously we talked about injecting the breast and we talked about making sure that it stayed juicy. And we're gonna see what the beer did to it and see what kind of flavor it gave to it. I'm super excited about this. All right, moment of truth, guys. 